Honestly, I would just eat that right now, but I like the cheese in it. Maybe we should look him up. It's a stink bug. I know, but we should look up like his name and read about him. They're hard, and when he's got triggers going on. Woo! Go Molly! It's just that the duality is that today's hard. Today is the 13th anniversary of our accident that killed our son, Ethan. If you don't know, we were on our way to Disney for his seventh birthday, three days before his seventh birthday, and um, our car was hit and he was killed instantly. So today's going to be a hard day to get through. You know, every year I have like this plan if I'm going to be good, you know? I've worked through a lot of my grief and I've worked through so much trauma and I've let it go. And the reality is that I have. It's just that the duality is that today's hard. Today will never not be hard. It's a reminder of um, Ethan. Oh, and how much, you know, I miss him here. All right. I just, I want you to tell you I love you, family. If you could um, drop some words of encouragement in the comments today, I would appreciate it. Um, it's a tough day to get through, but we're going to get through it. And first, I'm going to make my tea. Uh, ben sets his PlayStation out here every night uh, for his bunk, so he's got room. But he comes and get it. He comes and gets it when he's done. Um, yeah, so I gotta make my tea. But the purpose of today's video is the kids have school. And so we're gonna show you a day in the life of unschooling. Oh, okay. Ooh. What tea should I pick? Let's see here. I had pina colada yesterday, spiced apple chai, which would be good for this rainy day. You're the lemon to my lavender. That one might be good. Here's this one. See all like the goodies in there? This is pomegranate falls. So it's like all the little tiny pieces of all the things in the tea. Strawberry lemonade. I think I want like a cozy one. This one does not have a name on it. I forget what it is. PD Sunrise. White chocolate raspberry. Actually, I think that one's something else. And then I have... You know what? I think I might go with white chocolate raspberry. It is one of my favorite. They also have lavender earl gray. You know what? The white chocolate raspberry just kind of has, kind of has my heart. Um, and so yeah, that checks all the boxes. I did my chores last night. Water. Put it over here. Sure. You say good morning, everybody. Good mornings. How you doing? How you doing this morning? Oh, big stretch. Big stretch, Fifi. Let's take a look outside. Oh, it's a dreary day. I'm hoping it clears up a little bit. However, you know, dreary days aren't that bad. We have, I'll show you, hang on, let me open the window. We've got some friends staying with us, our first guest here at the property, which still does not have a name. You all came up with so many great names and they were fantastic. Um, we just, I don't know, we just haven't felt one yet. I know it'll come, I know it'll come, um, but we just, hasn't popped up yet. Oh, to Fifi's. Are you coming down the hallway? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. <sighs> okay. Um, the kids have to have, they have school at 8.30. So, um, I'm going to cook them breakfast. 
my friends and family from all over texting me today and sending me so much love and oh it's just I just feel like the luckiest girl in the world to have so much love on today that's my phone going off um, but I want to cook the kids breakfast because it just gets their day started out better if they have a little bit of something and so eggs and toast it is we're gonna slice some sourdough bread I'm gonna get these eggs um, that way they're not as grumpy I like to when I do scrambled eggs I like to put butter for the kids in the scrambled eggs and then I also put it in the pan scramble 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 we got scramble 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 is it sourdough Molly Eli come on guys time to get up Buddy. What time did you go to bed? Like 12, but I know Eli was wide awake before me. Because when you told him to turn YouTube off, I don't. Did you turn YouTube off? Uh, yeah, I was watching Outer Banks when you did that. Mm -hmm. Alright, we've got one fork. Woo! Those eggs are hot. Which one would you like? Picking that one? All right, I'll deliver this to Ben. Do me a favor and um, don't let Kevin eat it. Yeah, that'd be great. Kevin. All right, here you go, Ben. Breakfast. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, buddy. Eli, we gotta get up, buddy. Yeah. Kyle and Theodore are still yeah. still snoozing. All right, Eli. I'm actually gonna eat one of his eggs. This guy's trying to fish a chest gun. I made you breakfast, buddy. Right down here, okay? Oh, how am I gonna eat? I don't know. Sit up and eat it. Do you turn off? Do you turn off the lights? Yeah. You well, you want to eat it after you, I turn off the lights? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What, Mom? Can I have cheese for my eggs? Yeah. Which cheese would you like? The quesadilla cheese. Okay. Can just sit down. Okay, thank you. Can I show you this real fast? Look at this Halloween costume. I think Dad would be this. Costco worker. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That's adorable. I think. Oh wait, maybe. Look at that. It's a little little Costco worker. So Molly is set up on school right now. They're doing morning announcements, so um, all the kids are talking. She can hear them through her headphones. So they do morning announcements, and then they'll go into no, their we first really didn't do class. Anything this weekend. Kevin helps. He's here for emotional support. Oh, Kevin. Yeah. Daddy's got to get up to take you outside. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go check on Ben. He is Ben in his bunk doing his schoolwork. He prefers to do it in there. Um, right now, like I said, there are morning announcements. Eli is just waking up. He takes a little bit longer to wake up so he can watch some uh, Netflix for a little bit. Uh, and then Theodore is ready. Kyle's still asleep. And I have to get dressed. So Molly, what are you what are what are you doing for school? Art is our first class, so we're weaving. You're weaving. That's really cool. So what is what is weaving? It's where honestly, I'm not really too familiar with it yet. We just made our loom. Gotcha. So is it used to make like te textiles and rugs and stuff like that? I guess so. So Molly's making this. Ben is cutting out his pizza box for his loom. And uh, I'm still trying to get everybody situated. Kyle's still laying in bed. He's got to walk the dogs. And then Eli and I are starting school. Well, good morning, guys. I, <laughs> you guys have spent the morning with Jen. I've been a little, uh, I've been resting a little bit today. I, um, I got this, I've gotten this habit where I wake up about five, five, between five and six. And I'm like, why am I awake? this early and I end up kind of just laying there for a bit a little bit some days I'm able to fall back asleep some days I'm not anyway today I was definitely able to fall back to sleep was able to sleep till about nine o'clock almost I have not done that in quite a long time but now it's just after nine now giving the dogs a nice and long morning walk kind of dreary this morning a little a little rain last night I heard the rain and the thunder pretty much all night but hope you guys have had a good morning thus far with Jen got Monday, just kick school week back off. Uh, 
I'm sure as Jen has told you already, it's a uh, kind of a dreadful day in our history. Uh, 13 years ago, we were involved in a horrific accident, as most of you already know. I don't have to probably need to get into the details on that. Chico! What's up, buddy? Yeah, it's a nice uh, nice morning out here today. Good to, good day to good day to be alive. You guys ready to go in? You wanna go outside? You wanna go bus? No, not so much. They would stay out here all day. Especially her. That girl, she loves being outside. Chico too. Even, but we're back to square knots again. Take every two ends that are together and in out. Oh. And do a left over right and a right over left. To lock your weaving in place. Move on to the next two. Hey, Framley. So I am dressed, as you can see. I have my boots on. They actually sent me a pair, too. So I'm trying. This is the first time I'm trying them out today. The high C. Kyle loves his. Says they're great for mud and, and all that. So. Hopefully you won't experience any high C's out there. I hope not. But it is a blustery, kind of chilly, 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 rainy autumn day. Um, I'm trying to get Eli up, though. And he is kind of throwing a fit right now and um so what we're gonna do for that because this is a real day with eli sometimes he's got some big emotions and this morning is one of them like that we are just gonna kind of i'm gonna start my day kyle's gonna start his day and eli knows that we have to learn today so if his learning is pushed back he's just gonna have to be learning for later in the day and then he's not gonna have any technology or Netflix. And that is really going to put a damper on his day. Yeah, so I'm going to start my day and I'm going to go on my walk and I'm going to go identify the trees. That way when Eli is ready to learn later, when Eli is ready to learn later, I'll know what we're looking at. And I did um, two lessons. All right, so you're on lunch break. What are you doing for lunch? I'm not sure yet. About You got some mac and cheese. I think I bought... Yeah, I bought that one you like. That's like the best healthier mac and cheese. Best healthy mac and cheese. Like it tastes like real. Well, it is real mac and cheese. It's organic. Oh, well, the craft mac and cheese that I like. They actually have that brand in crafts in like the oh, craft yes. style. Did we look at the Kinsey cheese all day. Did they win yesterday? Yes, they were won by one yeah. point. Did the Bucks win? Yeah, they won. By the, beat the Lions. Mm. Well, that's not hard to do. By a lot. I think the Lions are pretty good this year, though. Yeah, they're really good. They... I find it so bizarre that my kids are into football now. Like, I have no idea where that came from. I, I mean, I, I grew up a baseball fan, and I would watch football <laughs> if I had to, but I really, me and Jen really have never really watched much football. But apparently, the kids are really into it these days. They know all the teams and all the players and well, the scores. I'm and... a kid. Yep, 2016, the hometown team. Yeah, Molly, Taylor Swift definitely introduced Molly. Well, it started with Taylor Swift. Now I like, now I'm a big fan of Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, now she's a big fan of Patrick Mahomes. But I mean, it's cool. I have no issues with that. Some people are still kind of grumpy about the whole Taylor Swift being involved in football thing. Bro, like, don't be grumpy. She's literally dating. Like, well, yeah, I mean, who cares? I mean, it brings in new fans. I'm sure the NFL likes it, but. Yeah, they get money. But on lunch break, I, uh, I'm going to make Jen a cup of coffee. darling. Oh, thank you, babe. I appreciate you. Give it a little sip. Mm. This is my mushroom one. This is your mushroom one. Mm, I love it. Hey guys, I'm on lunch break and we're going to make some mac and cheese for my lunch. That thing what, you, the... what class is after lunch? <gasps> oh, government and civics. Ooh. I believe. Or how to read a map. Okay, all are very important to know. Or that's tomorrow, I don't know. So you have lunch, then you have class, right? Then I have one more class, and then I have homework, and then I'm done. 
Ooh, not too long. Oh. And I mean, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We have a 45 minute class, I believe, and then an hour class. And then that's it. Hey, I gonna have lunch. You're gonna get Taco Bell probably. Oh man, you're gonna get something good. Ooh, Charlie's. Good for you, I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. You can go Monday. No, Eli's playing outside with Liam. I don't want to mess. I don't want to interfere. That's that. not a good thing. Yeah. Where's my phone? Well, I think just with how he was earlier and being frustrated and all the things. He's learning more playing with his friend and doing... I just think it's important for him to have that... Yeah. Um, what's that called? Interaction with, with other kids when it comes up. And so he's more of an introvert. And when he finds a friend, I'm all about it. Yeah. Because he usually doesn't. So now, first step to Molly's amazing Mar Molly's marvelous mac and cheese. It's actually Amy's. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna call it mine. You should call it yours. So we don't drink regular milk. So I use. Um, We've cut that out completely, haven't we? So I use oat milk. We don't usually buy the spring it's at the deli, so we just bought it. So now we have our macaroni base. We don't have any cheese in there yet. Oh my gosh, that thing is not focusing. We have our macaroni base. We don't have any cheese in there yet. But before we do the cheese, we're going to do our butter and milk because that's what I've learned to make it more creamy so that way when the cheese goes in, it makes it really, really nice and soft to mix in. That's the right, that's usually the bad and butter that I use. Throw that in there and let it melt for a sec. So I'm just going to bring the camera over there and show you guys. Now we have our milk. I don't, I add like s more than most people. I just let it go for a little bit. That's usually about as much as I add. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I would just eat that right now, but I like the cheese in it. So there's the cheese. Very yellow, but there's no like dyes or anything in it. Yeah, there's like na all natural stuff. And then yeah, yeah. I'm glad to. And you be poopy about it. Here comes the no. No. Okay, taste test it. It's like mac and cheese. What? Eli is uh, currently building a fort right now, so he's doing some some good learning over there. Maybe not that like that high, Eli. Let's keep it on the ground. Did you find my rock cleaner? Rock cleaner. Yay! All right. So I think Kyle got his phone worked out. Tyler is amazing. Central Machinery, I got a rock tumbler. We um, we have so many rocks on the property, I want to be able to tumble them because they're hard to see what they are. So I want to be able to tumble them. I got a few new ones. I got some new ones today when I went on my walk. And I think these are Unakite Jasper. But I can't, you really, the easiest way to tell is when it's polished. Um, by the naked, by the naked eye. So I'm hoping that my rock tumbler can tumble these. Did you eat some lunch? Oh, wow, look at that guy. Maybe we should look him up. It's a stink bug. I know, but we should look up like his name and read about him, what he does. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna go um, do a couple things and then you wanna climb up the mountain? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Play with your little buggy. So cute. Well, when we're done playing with him, what do you think is a good idea? Let him go free. Let him go free and then wash your hands? Yes. Okay. My beautiful friend, she paints the these amazing watercolors. And so I got a print. Um, she had some prints made up. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. Is that not beautiful? This one's called Windwalker. So I've been trying to to buy more local art for like, you know, arted, local art from artists and she's one from back home. Is that just not beautiful? So I ordered one. Um, she is battling cancer right now. And so I wanted to help support her journey in any way that I could. And Daisy B, the new bus, needs some needs some art. So that's what I got. The mac and cheese is working on it. You want to taste it? Tell me. I'm going to let it cool off for a sec, okay? 
tell me if those... So, what we've got to do, do you want me to move it? You leave that lamb. Do you want me to, to strain it, or you want me to do it? Could you please do it? Yeah. So, what we're going to do is I want you to squeeze the cheese into... The bucket. Yeah, give me just a second. Coming through, coming through, coming through, coming through. Is this really okay. Okay. Which I now put it in here. I'm gonna set it up here, and let's put the cheese in that. Now we need to unroll it so we can get the rest of it out. Let like me this? show you a trick. Or you got it. I got it. Okay. You wanna give it a try? We gotta stir it around until the butter is melted. Good job. Go. I'll get you a bowl out. Oh, my mac and cheese. I know. You did such a good job making that. Sweet. Have a treat, please. Have some noodles. She does love you. She does love noodles. And bread. And all the other carbohydrates. And a girl after my own heart. Because I do too. Hi. I'm... I'm not on a walk with Eli. We left on the... We left on P-dubs. And then Eli realized he's barefoot and forgot his shoes. So we can't really go up the mountain with um, no shoes on because there's a lot of deserty stuff up there. So we get back and our friends were outside. And so Liam and his dad, Tyler, they wanted to go work on the Asekia. So Kyle went with Eli and now they are going up the mountain and they are going to go build a bridge. I don't know if Kyle is going to capture any of that on camera. Him and I are... We're, we're not having a great day today. Um, it's kind of not, not a good couple day, and that's okay. I'm sure by the end of the day, we are going to work it out. It takes some individual time to do that. So, that being said, we're going to switch off because I was going to come back later and hopefully get some time to edit. So now I'm going to uh, come back here, shut my curtain. I've already let Molly and Ben know that I'm going to shut it and I'm going to work on editing my book while Kyle's up there. And then when he gets back, I will um, be on duty again for the kids. So let me get to work. So I just finished up school. I got all of my schoolwork done. I do have a little bit of homework tonight, but I'm going to be making banana bread because as you can see, we have some very ripe bananas. I'm going to be making two loaves for our friends that are here and then one for us because it's so good. It's also gluten-free and dairy-free. Like, what? Yeah, my great-grandma gave me this recipe, so thank you, Granny. But first, we have to clean up this tragedy of a kitchen in order to start making. So let's go. Just have random graph paper, colored pencils. These are Eli's, so I'm just gonna put these in here. Basically, I just need this area clean, like back here, because I will be working back there some. Clean it up, and then when it's done, then it's done. We do have a lot of bananas. So I don't have like, I need one more from being like, one more full loaf, but I think two will work. All-purpose gluten free flour, guys. I know. Then we have oat milk baking chocolate chips, because my mom can't carry. Then we have pecans that we're gonna crush up. And yeah, and now we're gonna go grab the rest of the ingredients that I need. I don't know what I need yet, so. So, okay. How much flour do we need? So the first step is we have to sift our flour, and I know I'm using like a boiler, boiler thing, whatever. Oh, that's so satisfying. Mm. Sifting flour is so boring. Oh my gosh. Now I think we're gonna do sugar. Yay. Okay, so we got the sugar in. You just gotta work harder, not smarter. No, you just gotta work smarter, not harder. <laughs> harder, not smarter. Okay, so we have our eggs in there, which I did not film putting in there. Then all we have to do is mix, and then I add our bananas, and then we're almost done. So yes, let's mix. So I did not film mashing up the bananas, but it is cooking now, and this one's our loaf because I added nuts and chocolate chips to it, so I don't know if they have a nut allergy, so I'm just not going to... Put nuts or chocolate chips in there. All right, Molly here is driving and we're headed oh, up 
up, yeah, so you'll have to pull over to the side. Molly is driving because we're headed up to see how flippin' cool the new bridge is. Ooh, and look at that view. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, this is a very bumpy ride. We're almost over to the Asekia, and so they built the bridge. And now I get to see it, and I'm pretty excited. This is what Kyle and Tyler and Liam and Eli, this is what they did today, I was earlier. Cool. Yeah, I was getting my education. Uh-huh, so was Eli. You might want to hear All right. cool look at that tractor work. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Whoa. Whoa, yeah, I think I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna watch you. I hope I can do it. Uh, you're gonna do great. I've only done it once. Okay, hang on. So let go me go. The other side. Hey, oh, oh, okay. Let me, um, all right. Hang on, Missy. I got my, my skirt hiked up and all the, all the things. Woo! Woo! Okay, I'm gonna stand really far back. Nope, this is too close because I'm gonna get water splashed on me. This is much, much more better. Okay, yes. Woo, go Molly, girl power. So they built some race tracks up here and uh, Kyle cut in a bunch of path. And so Molly is demonstrating I guess where where the track was that way they can come up here and hang out and then be able to race the car man what a day so kyle ended up taking eli up here and they were working on building the bridge they did not film that um it was it was kind of a couple touchy touchy rough moments but they came up here they were able to learn how to build a bridge why we need to build a bridge which rocks to put where um, so Eli is going to be watching some bridge stuff coming up. Uh, but yeah, what a day. I am so pooped. Man, since I got up at, I was up at like 6 and then I finally walked out there, you know, like 7, 7.30. Overall, rough day. You know, it's the anniversary of um, us losing Ethan. So just the emotions were kind of everywhere. And that was a typical day in the homeschool, how we unschool, homeschool, how we choose to educate our children. And now Molly should be coming back around so we can go check out Ben's dinner and uh, see how he did. But really, just how beautiful was the sky? Listen to just the sounds of the crickets wind blowing through the needles of the pines. Man, what a beautiful paradise. And here comes my chariot now. But I think I'm gonna watch her cross the, uh... yeah, I'm gonna watch you cross the thing. What? And then I'll, I'll meet you on the Are other side. No, I think There's I'm good. Fresh it's okay, you go ahead and cross it. I'm gonna, watch it. I'll be over here. Uh, you go first and then I'll walk over. Woo, look at her go. I'm so proud of that girl. I'm coming, I'm coming. Let me cross the cross the bridge. Yeah, now now all the buggies are able to to get across it. How oh, yeah. cool. What? He went across before you? Ah! Well, I think you guys did awesome. Now like, it's... It's not just that one racetrack. They built like several different ways you can go, different turn off. Oh, that's so cool. We'll have to take the family on that tomorrow. I just did a little bit. Oh, sweet. I didn't want to wait to make you wait. No, no. I love it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. We're both pulling each other. In Greek mythology, Rufus moved too close to the sun with his homemade wings. Apollo? 
Mm. Oh, no. grief. Well, hello, family. I am here getting my chore done. My chore is to clean up the kitchen and all of the dishes at the end of the day. I'm exponentially pooped. Molly's banana bread came out spectacular. It was delicious. Yeah, it was delicious. The kids had a great day of school. Um, they have different classes on different days, so tomorrow will be a whole new list of uh, classes that they have. And then Eli did really awesome up with Kyle today. They uh, were measuring, doing all the things. Luckily, you know, Eli was able to regulate and save his day. And he got, he wasn't as grumpy by the end of it. As for Kyle and I, we are okay. Um, we are doing all right. It's just some days are hard. And when he's got triggers going on and I have a trigger of, you know, today's the anniversary. There's just a lot of things, you know? And um, it's just hard. Sometimes it's hard to like keep it all together. I'm just really tired today, you know? Um, I think it takes so much out of me on anniversaries and big things and when I'm triggered. You know, overall, it was it was a fine day. It was, it was fine. It was better than years past, you know? And so I'm grateful. I'm grateful for that. You just really want to get your stuff done so you can get get to bed and at. But that, that was a typical day, a typical school day in the life of the Bethunes. And tomorrow is Tuesday, so I will be up bright and early to do it all again. So yeah, as soon as my tea boils, I'm going to make it and then go crawl into bed. So thank you for uh, being with us today. It was a long one. We appreciate you. Take care of yourselves and each other, and we will talk soon. George Lewis Valenzuela was last seen on May the 29th, 2024, missing from the Los Angeles, California area. 16 years of age, male. Both photos shown in this video are of George. He has a tattoo on his right forearm and on his right hand. George may go by the name Louie. If you have any information to the whereabouts of George, please reach out to the Los Angeles Police Department at 1-877-275-5273 and let's see if we can try to help bring George home.